Um, actually, I was a business major in college. Um, went into marketing. I always took classes to further my education, uh, whether it was an advertising course or computer classes. And it was taking a computer class at a local college here that I uh, kept walking by a watercolor class. And one day I walked in and said, I have to do this. So that began this uh, quest for knowledge. And so for 10 years, I studied with everybody I could find. And some for as little as a weekend workshop, some for as long as seven years. Uh, and I found that uh, it took over my life and my soul and became my passion and now my avocation. And I retired from my past career and actually started teaching out of my home uh, when the last one went off to school and I took over the basement level and took taught classes there. Um, and then I had one class and that led to two classes and then it led to three classes because people kept telling other people and my cul-de-sac was getting filled with cars on a daily basis, so I was worried about the, the neighborhood. So I moved into my studio here about five years ago, and, and that is history, as they say. Um, I teach five regular weekly classes here, as well as um, every now and then workshops. Uh, I have a few scheduled coming up. I have guest instructors who come in. Um, I teach also some traveling workshops and uh, take a group every year to Italy. And we tour and try to visit two, two areas of the country that are dissimilar from each other so you can get a, a real taste of the country. And those are combined with uh, cooking classes, wine tasting, and watercolor classes. So it's a, it's a fun time and we usually go for about two weeks. So it's a great inspiration to all, <laughs> especially to me. I have to. My biggest problem is um, living long enough to paint everything I want to paint. Um, I, I take photographs and I probably amassed a collection of maybe 20,000. So every time I pull another one out I go, I have to paint that. And then I pull another one and I have to paint that. And then I put them up on the board and stare at them for a while and then I try to paint it. And then I do a few commissions and they sort of take away from my, uh, I want to paint that one too. So. I just can't live long enough. When I first started, I had a teacher that taught by saying, go get a picture I cut out of the magazine and paint it. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I, with the thirst for knowledge, started looking around for people whose style, style I liked. And one was Jan Kuntz. I've actually never even met her, but I loved her books and she does a nice step-by-step -step method and beautiful work. So yes, yeah, she was an, uh, an influence. Um, I took for quite some time from Harris Holt, who's a local artist in, in Charlotte, and uh, he's quite detailed, very detailed. So if you paint a brick house, you have every brick all the way across. <laughs> First thing you would do to do those would be to count them. And I, I don't paint quite that detailed, but I learned an awful lot from him. Um, and I've taken from Steve Rogers' uh, workshop up at Canuga. Um, a little half day from Janet um, Rogers, his wife. In my classes, we even do field trips. We just last week went to the Mint Museum and, and did a tour of uh, an exhibit by the Masters. And people like John Singer Sargent, who was well known for portraits of the rich and famous um, he would do paintings and he would have great detail maybe in the face, but he could, he was a master at um, creating an object just by painting the light that reflected on a string of pearls, for example. From a distance, they looked exactly like pearls, rounded, glistening. When you get up close, you realize there's a little shadow on the back and just a blob of white paint. So to see that and how he portrayed the lights and, and the subjects themselves is just fascinating. Um, I saw Monet's exhibit in, in Rome uh, a few years back with some pieces that had never been seen by the public. And I loved his colors. I, I love water um, and the blues and the greens. So I, I just naturally gravitated towards his. Um, Turner, uh, an old master watercolorist who's a, a landscape painter. Beautiful, beautiful work. Um, so you can't help but be inspired by what the
these people have done and, and what they do. Um, you can learn from everything you see. When you start to paint, you, um, you see things in another dimension from the rest of the world. You'll drive down the interstate and look at the trees and, and once you try to mix your greens, you'll realize that trees don't have brown trunks. They're not all just solid green and that there's, the trunks might have grays and reds and oranges and blues and yellows and whites and all sorts of colors in them and the, and the greens themselves are mixed by a multitude of blues and yellows. So you try to figure those out. You never look at anything the same again. You'll drive down the road and you'll see a sunset and you'll start calling out the colors that are in there. There's, there's new gambos, there's a lizard in crimson, there's just, and then your spouse or significant other will look at you and go, okay, that's enough. Because <laughs> they think you're nuts. But you, you start to look for the beautiful things in life. Uh, we spoke a little earlier and talked about uh, how an artist views things differently from the rest of the world. How you could drive across a bridge at uh, the beach, for example, and see an old rusted bo uh, boat, and the average person will go, look at that rust. But an artist will look at it and look at those colors. Look at, oh, that rust would be great to paint. Look at the reflections in the water up there. What great character that boat has. So. It's, it's just a whole different world and it's open to you and um, to play with it. Don't take it so seriously. Practice. The more you do it, the better you'll get. I have a website and it shows you some examples of, of my work, uh, some of the other artists that I have here in my gallery. Um, and I'm, I'm adding new things daily. Um, I do have a, an events and workshop and classes page that tells you about the upcoming workshops. Uh, about my classes, what my schedule is, um, and things that are coming up here. Uh, we do some outdoor art shows for uh, local artists um, out on the lawn are fun. Um, but anytime you want to know anything or, or know what's coming up around here, if you'll go to www.nancycowick.com.